What's going on everyone, Gilman with LaVolfi back with our daily Apple update video where we take a look at how Apple stock traded today, some key support and resistance levels to look out for, as well as what the rest of the week could look like for Apple. So real quick, if you enjoyed these videos, hit that like button, it really helps me out as it recommends the video to other people. Subscribe to my channel, I try to do these on a daily basis, and comment down below what your thoughts on Apple are or the overall market as we kind of go through election season. So wasting no time, let me hit the one day chart and we'll get right into it. So what we see here is, if I just zoom into the day, um, getting rid of after hours, um, what we saw is we opened up here, right, in the 113s, dropped below this sort of support level. So actually, let me rewind just a little bit. So from where we ended sort of yesterday after hours trading, and where we began the pre-market trading today, we had a gap. Um, we went from the 110s to 113, um, Again, this, this horizontal line, 112.72, it's not a perfect line around the, the high 112s, low uh, 113 should be good support as we talked about, which I mean, every time we've dipped below, we come back. But all that to say, when we started the day, we went below it um, just for a little bit. We came up, got rejected by the VWAP, went back down, but this time found support right at this horizontal line. And this horizontal line is something that I've had on my chart for I don't even know how many weeks now. Um, if you've watched my videos, we've had this horizontal line for a while acting as good support. So then we found support right there, um, and then we pushed up, and this run was amazing. I was really astonished by it. Uh, but we went all the way from the 112s, to the mid 115s, um, weren't able to quite break that level. Um, so we came back down, tested VWAP, went up 115, 59 again, couldn't really break through that mid 115s, came down, tested it a third time, right? As I said yesterday, sometimes the third time is when it breaks through. It didn't happen. Um, so then we were kind of trading sideways for the rest of the day between um, you know, the mid 114s or really the VWAP and the 115s. Um, so again, tested it, tested VWAP here, came up, tested VWAP again, came up, tested VWAP again, um, and then we kind of were just trading sideways for the latter, uh, for the last like hour of trading. All that to say, um, you know, kind of two takeaways here. We are up $4.51, which is 4% on a stock like Apple in a given day, right? Apple is close to being a true two trillion dollar company again, something it was kind of far away from as it was dipping um, last week. So, so that's great news. And then the other thing is, you know, anytime we came to the VWAP for the second half of the day, and even here, we were at a bounce off of it, which is again great news. Taking a look at some of the indexes, right? Tech overall had a great day. NASDAQ was up 3.85%, which, I mean, a lot of mutual funds, right? If you invest long-term and don't look at them, give us like eight, 10, 12% returns um, annually, right? To, to get 4% in a day is ridiculous, but it's great for us. Um, Dow was up about 391 points. S&P was up $7.63, which is 2.27%. So as you can see, we've got 2.27 here, 1.42 here, but tech was up almost 4%, 3.85. You know, Google was up 6%, $100. Amazon was up um, almost $200, which is 6%. Um, and Apple was up nicely as well. This is all great. Now let's take a look at our daily chart and kind of what we see there. Um, so again, you know, we've kind of had now two days, right, where we've, we've um, so we had this downward trend that we drew all the way back from October 13th um, to 11.2. And now, I mean, if I were to draw a line, I'm not going to just yet, because I think that there's a lot of uncertainty still. Um, and I'd like to see it continue it for like another day or two before I start calling that. But, um, you know, we're making higher highs and higher lows, right? So the low of two days ago was 107. The low of yesterday was 108, 73. And today's low was 112.35. Similarly, the high of two days ago was 110.68, the high of yesterday was 111.49, and the high of today was 115.59. So, great trading, um, you know, overall we're doing really, really well. Um, 
just just something to look out for right let me put the indicators back up now that we can look at them again because we are kind of in that range so what we see is we're fast approaching the 20 day moving average at 116.03 and the 50 day moving average at 116.37 um, so assuming the next couple of days are, are fine for apple you know it could make a push towards those moving average numbers let's take a look at the emas really quick um, and what we see here is the the eight ema is at 112.84, um, which is somewhere it found support a couple times. If you remember, right, this horizontal line, the 112.79 that I had drawn that we talked about earlier, um, also happens to be near the 8 EMA, so I found good support there. Um, we've got the 21 EMA in the 114.41, 34 at 114.60, so that should be good support for the stock. Again, um, you know, if we were to go back to the um, chart a couple times what we see is it bounced off of the mid 114s right um, so just to kind of point out that you know that's also um, one of the exponential moving averages line um, so you know when when you see things like the VWAP and the EMA and, and more lines of support is greater right because if they have both if we have both an EMA and the VWAP coming in at a certain point that's a stronger support than either one of them alone. So, you know, great, great there. Um, and then we've got the uh, 89 all the way at 108.86. We've got the 30 or 55 at 113.15, which that along with the other horizontal line we sort of drawn is, um, should hold as good support now that we're above it. Moving up there, I mean, going back, right, we've, we've discussed this multiple times, so I'm not gonna rediscuss it too much, but, 117, 119, and 121.50 are sort of the next consolidation points. When a stock gets to that level, it takes a little bit to consolidate before it moves up, or at that point, it tests to move back down. So those are kind of levels to look out for too, 117, 119, 121. The other thing that I do wanna say is, um, we have gapped up here, right? So the high of yesterday was 111.49, the close was 110.44. The open today was 114.17 and the low was 112, right? So we still have a gap from where we closed yesterday at 144 to the open today, which is 114. Uh, or excuse me, the low today, which is 112. So 110.44 to 112.35 is an air pocket, right? It is a gap that we could go down to fill if we come back towards that 112 level. Right? So just something to keep in mind if we were to go down, which we've gone up for two days in a row, which is super surprising because we're in election season right now and there's a lot of uncertainty and we don't have a winner yet. They're counting votes and there might be lawsuits. There might be recounts. It might be, yeah, it might get worse before it gets better is what I'm trying to say. And I'm just really surprised to see the stock market kind of pushing up during times like these. So just something to keep in mind, we've had two great green days, right? For both Apple and the overall stock market in general. Um, so could we see a push down tomorrow or Friday as we sort of have the election uncertainty continue? Potentially, um, just something to keep in mind. Um, yeah, I'm personally, as I told you guys, I'm kind of being cautious with my trades right now. I'm not going super heavy um, with my trades just because I would rather wait for the uncertainty to be over for me to actually believe in the technicals, right? Because right now a lot of the market is driven by coronavirus or it's driven by um, the elections. And I want to kind of wait for um, that to be over um, before I go you know, heavy into the market again. I am still invested. I'm long-term bullish on Apple. I have Apple stock, but I'm not doing options as much as I would normally. So just something to keep in mind the positive catalyst that we have is no matter who becomes president we're likely to see a stimulus bill which should be great news for the market we are hopefully going to see a vaccine sometime before the end of this year which is only like a month and a half away so hopefully or month two months away right november just started but just something to keep in mind we have those two positive catalysts the negative catalysts right now could be the election depending on you know kind of how the losing side takes it or when we find out or if it drags out um, and the rising coronavirus cases as we move into winter those could be two negative catalysts so um, be careful hope you guys are all staying safe um, hope you guys are all um, you know trading carefully and sticking to your plan um, drop down in the comment section below if there's anything you want to talk about with your apple trades or how you've been doing with your trading um, or if you have any questions that i can help answer please drop them down there as well please subscribe to my channel i'm trying to grow and each subscribe really helps me out and like the video so others can see um, that's all i had for you guys today i hope you guys enjoyed let's remember to be, let's remember to be a bit better every single day and until next time.